other seems to have been gone. We went very fast through the other one, so we'll just continue with the other next one. Um, it says approval of December 19th minutes. There are no minutes at that time because that meeting was um, adjourned because Mr. Halley uh, would not leave the room. So we adjourned the meeting, so there were no minutes. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the financials for Steve for January or February? Nobody? Very good. Okay. Um, going into the old business, uh, Sue, do you want to talk about the uh, workout room? Um, the, um, we don't have a boys and girls gym anymore. We have a cardio room and a strength training room. And um, the walls have been taken out. Uh, the new walls have been put in. It's all painted. Uh, the flooring uh, is a rubber quarter inch floor that is um, being uh, bid out right now. And once the floor is put in, we'll, we're looking at ordering the equipment right now. Um, and so those are the last two pieces to be in place. Um, the two pieces of equipment that we have can be used, and so uh, if the people are so inclined, there are two pieces of equipment for use right now, and more to come in the next couple of months. So it's looking very nice. I think everyone's going to enjoy it when we get it done. So thank you. Uh, we did have the leaks in the garage fix that were um, from the pipe that was coming from the outside and it was leaking on the garage floor. That has been redone. It is now up higher and it goes out to the sewer. So there should be no more leakage back there by where Mary Jane and some of them park on the other side. So that was taken care of by Degree Plumbing Company. Um, also, I would like to bring the atten to your attention again that all of our outside doors are alarmed. And if the door remains open too long, the alarms go off. And we've had several cases where the doors have been propped open, jammed open by workers in the building, and we have had the police here several times. I do want to do warn anybody and it says right here in your um, house rules that any charges made by the alarm company for setting off the alarm will be charged to the owner of that unit so just remember when you have workers coming they're supposed to go in and out of the garage they're not supposed to be coming in through the front door with their equipment and do not prop the doors open if they do Police will come because the alarm company, in case Tracy's not here and I'm not here, we can't get down there fast enough to turn off the alarm. The security company has the police notified and they come. Once they come, we're charged $50. So then that will go directly to you. So I just want to remind everybody about that. Thank you. Um, also, any other old business? Uh, New business is the elevators. Our contract is up for um, Schindler Elevator Company. So we have been investigating having other uh, company come in. Schindler is not, uh, they're supposed to be here every month to service the elevators. They are not doing that when we call them. Uh, you have to go through so many different people. It goes back east somewhere and we don't, they, they don't show up and they are not servicing us the way it should properly be done. So we have been speaking with Otis Elevator Company and the board uh, made a decision to go with Ellis. So uh, our contract is up with Schindler. Otis, I'm sorry. Our contract is up with Schindler um, in July. So we have already sent them a letter terminating that policy with them. Um, our, and uh, I will be signing, we will be signing a contract with Otis to start. So we will have a new elevator company. Um, also, Tracy would like for everybody to kind of remember, please slow down when driving in the garage. We have a lot of blind spots, no bike riding or ball playing. Please help with the recycling, especially on the weekends, break down all the boxes and place between the bins. 
We were told by the driver that if he sees any foam products in the blue bins, that he will not pick up that can. So all foam products need to go in the trash. Packing peanuts should be sealed in a plastic bag and then placed in the trash, which is the black can. There should be no plastic bags of any kind in the blue bins. There should be no loose trash dumped down the trash chute. Your trash needs to be sealed and then dropped. And the hallway carpets will be cleaned once the work is completed on the fifth floor and in the exercise room. We will also be getting our dumpster at that time. <laughs> we have applause here. <laughs> so uh, we're hoping that that will be this next month. So, um, Any other new business that anyone has? Question on, on, on the elevator contract is Otis going to be same, less cost? Less. Oh, okay. Otis is less. And we've also talked about uh, in a future date refurnishing the elevators, which we have in our reserve study fund. So they, they are less. Do you have those figures? or? Yeah. I, I, just less than that. Yeah, they are less, though. Yes. Clarification, you said there can be no plastic bags in the blue? That's what he says. That's right. There's no That's plastic right. bags of any kind in the blue bin. So if you have shredded paper, it goes in nicely in a paper bag from but Trader you know, Joe's. I don't have paper bags from then Trader Joe's. Then you dump what we do is we dump it, we dump the paper into the recycling. Oh, that's not good. Rumple up. Well, you have to get, you can't, and then you take the plastic bag and throw it in the trash because you cannot put the plastic bag you in my I've been all these years, I put I'll a plastic bag. I'll give you a bag, bag from Trader one, Joe's. One bag is not <laughs> enough. One bag's not recycle. enough, and I always thought we could put them in those white garbage that's bags. What so I, I think we need to talk. That's what I've been doing too. I've been so we I need think to he's right. I think he's right about the plastic bag. Okay, well, we check, need to talk to him about this. Okay. And foam, you're talking about. Oh, you know, when those styrofoam. styrofoam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Jean? Um, has the board considered putting in artificial turf on the back side of the building? Then we wouldn't have a watering problem over there. No, it has been brought up that we have not considered it at this time. Well, um, you know, just south uh, and in the rear of the exercise uh, company down the street near uh, Cosby and Gray, there's artificial turf back there, and it, it looks very nice. Well, no, we know that, but we just at this time haven't felt that it's it, it's been the right time to do that. It okay. has been discussed, but we sort of tabled. Isn't it very expensive? It is expensive. It is very expensive. There's a yes. lot of work that needed to go into it. First, they need to excavate it, then yeah. you need to layer it about four times. I mean, it's, 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 it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. Those were flooded years ago. Yeah. Storage unit. What? I said, those of us who may have flooded in our storage unit, like I have, I have trouble thinking. But that won't necessarily that won't, mean that, that, that won't control. do any oh, difference. Artificial turf won't make any difference? Because no. there's still going to be seams. The there's you're still going to, like, if you, if you were to take the put it up against an edge, okay. you're still going to have an edge. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's going to have to seed through it like natural grass, because otherwise you're going to puddle and pool. And besides, pool. her storage locker is from the front. Oh. She has, She's not even close to the back. But it, it, so. even if you get artificial turf, the only thing that it'll do is basically they'll put a slope on it so that it'll run into the controlled area. Okay. But eventually what'll happen yeah. is that controlled area will spill out. <laughs> I mean, it's water. It's going to go where any crevice that it can get into, any spot it can seed through. It can even seed through concrete. Low into it's not sealed, right? So I have lots of buckets in the wintertime. Yeah, I mean that's the problem with it. It's water, you can't control it. Well, many people do have buckets because there's many storage lockers. Somebody this. told me, and I'm not sure whether it was Tracy, that there are only two people who have the problem I have. You know, there's several people. I have, but they have. Okay, so. yeah. okay any other really? anything else? Okay, going right along to oh, the open. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Joe. Um, first off, I'd like to say um, the workout room is looking great. Um, up there a couple times and maybe take that and open the door. Um, I would like to maybe suggest <laughs> that the hours be reviewed um, for it, um, whether if they're similar to the pool or similar to the common other areas, um, because I think that um, people tend to work and with, with the workout room redone, then it might be something to review or have a standard hours across the board so um, they all have the same shutoff time so it's not confusing like constantly opening up the docs like, okay, 
could I be in here at this time or not, or this or that? Um, just a suggestion. It, no, it's a good suggestion, and it has come up, and we did a uh, soundproof brickwork uh -huh. uh -huh. on the walls that go into the next units, so it should make it quieter. So we have that subject has come up, and we will discuss it again. But thank you. Uh, at this time, I want to thank Diana Cash for the holiday party. We all had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for doing that and being our host that evening. It was fun and we enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Um, I also would like to thank Myla Starr because I think we all appreciate the flowers that she puts in the lobby and here in this room. And she seems to change them with the season and they're beautiful and I think that I would like for all of us to thank her when we see her, and I would like to thank her. Oh, she compensated. She no. compensated for that. She no, donated. she won't. She doesn't put a bill in. She that's, just, that's a lot she's very happy to do it. That's what she oh, wants to do. I think so. Very, very happy. Yes, you want me to report this? Or uh, the, um, both the, the resolution for to accept the last year's minutes is passed, and the um, IRS resolution to take your savings and put it in reserve so you don't get taxed on it. It's also passed. Okay, very so, good. Very good. Through with the ballots. Yeah. I'm assuming you're through with the ballots and everything's done. Okay. All right. Um, any other business? Any other comments? Well, while you're on the, op the open forum, there is a problem that seems to be developing behind the plastic panels with some rust. Tracy's checking into it. I don't know if anybody else is, is having it. Uh, well, you mean on our decks? On our, yes. on our decks. But Tracy is checking into it, and hopefully, as soon as it stops raining, something will be done. Where the screws are. You are these on the, on the <coughs> ones on the that you just put up? Yeah. On the you, 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 you all have a look at your thing. Yeah. Well, I think all you need to do is go buy some stainless steel, steel screws, screws yes. put it in. Right. <laughs> yeah. But we That's didn't put the panels in, so if they need to come out then yeah. Tracy needs to I, I, I can buy some I can buy stainless steel. We don't we, we, I, we, at this point we don't know if the rust is on the plastic I think the or, rust or, or, or is on the, the paint. Or, or into the yeah, aluminum paint. Well. Mm. On the paint? Well you know how they're screwed into yeah. the bars? The rust is on the bar, not on the plastic. Oh. Anything else? Okay, then I want to thank Sue Hill and Steve DeGraff who both go off tonight for your three years your work and dedication. Thank you very much. We appreciate everything. Um, our next HOA meeting is June the 19th. Same place, same time, <laughs> 6 o'clock. <laughs> if there's nothing else, then this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Good.